international break of the year is out of the way. Christmas is a month away, and the unrelenting challenge of the championship is about to be stepped up going into the winter months ahead. That's Bobby Jalvin on the fringes of the playoff spots, and to an even greater extent, Ipswich Town in the top two have put themselves in a position to push on from in pursuit of promotion. It's the first of nine fixtures for both to negotiate before the turn of the year. And as much about their prospects. Every team will be tested, and these two will certainly expect that to be the case today. Kenneth delighted to have the Manchester United Loney back available. Furlong in some space. Jed Wallace and will whip it in dangerously, invitingly. Empty service from the skipper into such a dangerous area. Here comes the corner from Matt Phillips, flicked on. And Albion in front it all really came from the corner and the danger wasn't dealt with some start for the home side here his head has gone all the way in thought there might have been a touch to it Thomas Asante swung out a foot but it's Darnell Furlong's goal and it's West Bromwich Albion who lead already Trying to flick it on, I think, maybe. But it didn't need the touch as it found its way in. Um. Chinstowns against Swansea, as at Rotherham, and at Birmingham, and at home to Plymouth. And we'll have to do this the hard way. and three draws on the six previous occasions this season and they've conceded first Let's Brom in the move for more this is Sante cheering one up Vanke was behind it and makes the save and trying to pick up the pieces all the momentum champion right now looking to build on this hugely positive start that they've made to proceedings awkward one that for Vanke Super season in goal so far. Since uh, replacing Steve Bruce early last season with the team second from bottom, 16 games in. Ended up ninth. We're in contention for the playoffs until the final day. And just short after a disappointing end to the season. Losing three of the last four. And here's Burns for it, which takes the touch. Can't find the finish though. Contribute in his first couple of campaigns with the club in League One. He was just afforded a chance to take that extra touch, control what followed, but cause for concern. Once again, back in his preferred role on the right tonight. And he's pulled just behind Thomas Asante. He's had to play a number of different players in a number of different positions this season, such as being the injury issues as corporate. One of those, he's operated effectively really as a centre forward at times this season. Phillips to try and chase this one down. There's another who's had to show his versatility back in his preferred position as it bounces off. Thomas Asante is claimed by Gladke. This time ball in from Phillips should have been dealt with really by Wolfenden. The fact that it wasn't almost let in Thomas Asante. He's always stretching for it, cleared against him by Burgess. He's trying to assert their attacking authority though. Looking for a, a bit more menace in the final third than we've seen so far. It's what we're used to seeing from them this season. Infield here by Burns, Morsi's delivery was missed by Bartley. 
And it goes behind. Just found that little pocket of space. It's an awkward one. It just brushed off Carl Bartley and behind, so there won't be a corner at the end of it. There's the contact off the, the head of the centre back. Taken pretty quickly here in by Ipswich, out by Bartley again. As far as Moore seen, a bit of pinball on the edge of the penalty area, and now the opportunity may be for the West Brom counter with Wallace. He has all sorts of support. Thomas Asante taking over, slipping it through. Off the post to the other at the start of the second half and 2-0 to the baggies Move it started inside the home team's own penalty area Wallace has played a big part covered a lot of ground quickly look at the support that he had Thomas Asante took the touch and Dean Garner did the rest to score his third goal of the championship season which now have it all on. Really precise finish across the keeper and in off the far post from Dean Garner. Impressed in that first half and has now stepped up to centre stage. About the only place he could have put it without Fadke getting fingertips to it. Tenure in the third tier. Here goes Wallace. He will reach it. Phillips arriving in the middle. There to try and turn it in, and he's just unable to do so right on the line. Look for all the world as if that was about to become freedom. All sorts of space in behind for Wallace here. Phillips had covered good ground to get on the end of it. Didn't seem to bounce away off him really. Wallace able to pick him out, but how has that not gone in? It's astonishing. Thought initially that Brandon Williams must have done enough to uh, deny him, but Williams really was a spectator here. Then it's just got it all wrong right in front of God. Again, this time from the corner kick that hasn't been dealt with initially. Big scramble in there, it was off furlong. Still hasn't yet been dealt with. Harness is in there. Eventually, emphatically, it is cleared away, and there's a chase on for Wallace. position behind the ball, which is with Sam Morsi. Scarlett, able to get his shot away in it, flashes across the face of goal, that wasn't far away, certainly in the context of what they have created. And Scarlett was close here. Well, it's time work really when it came his way. Maybe for them here. That is the full 